What happens when a defiant doctor meets a belligerent politician? Primetime television. We're talking about America's top infectious disease expert, Anthony Fauci, and Kentucky's Republican Senator, Rand Paul. They clashed during a congressional hearing on Tuesday. It was pretty heated stuff. Rand Paul accused Fauci of lying to Congress. He said the National Institutes of Health, NIH, was funding the Wuhan Virology Institute in China, the home turf of the lab leak theory. So how did Fauci respond? The 80-year-old got pretty worked up. He said if anyone was lying, it was Senator Paul. Listen to this. Dr. Fauci, knowing that it is a crime to lie to Congress, do you wish to retract your statement of May 11th where you claimed that the NIH never funded gain-of-function research in Wuhan? Senator Paul, I have never lied before the Congress, and I do not retract that statement. This paper that you are referring to was judged by qualified staff up and down the chain as not being gain of function. So what was, let you me take, finish. You take an animal virus and you increase its yeah, transmissibility yeah. to humans, right. you're saying that's not gain of function? Yeah, that is correct. And, and Senator Paul, you do not know what you are talking about, quite frankly. And I want to say that officially. You do not know what you are talking about. A bit high schoolish, not what you expect from people in their position. But what was this debate all about? It was about gain of function. What does that mean? Doctors basically take a virus or disease and they make it deadlier, more transmissible. It sounds like doomsday research, but apparently it is common practice. Doctors supercharge viruses to prepare for the future so that when a deadly pathogen comes along, they're ready. But there is a flip side to this. If you're not careful, you may unleash the next pandemic. The Wuhan lab was researching gain of function. The question is, did Fauci's National Institutes of Health fund this research? Back in May, he said no. But since then, we've seen new evidence. This is what Fauci's grant description to the Wuhan lab says. There's a lot of medical jargon, so try to keep up. Predictive models of host range will be tested experimentally using reverse genetics, pseudovirus and receptor binding assays and virus infection experiments across a range of cell cultures from different species and humanized mice. This is highly experimental stuff, almost mad science. And to many experts, this is just a long drawn out definition of gain of function, but Fauci says it isn't. He says it may sound like gain of function, but it is not. And the fact is, there is no way to verify this. It depends on which side you want to believe. Does that give a clean chit to Anthony Fauci? It doesn't. In 2014, America halted gain of function research. They said the cost of a mistake was too much. Even Dr. Fauci agreed. This is an opinion piece he wrote back in 2011. Safeguarding against the potential accidental release or deliberate misuse of laboratory pathogens is imperative. So Fauci knew the risk of tampered viruses getting out. He knew what this could lead to. Then why did his agency keep funding the lab in Wuhan, a lab that is notorious for mad science and leaks? Well, only he can answer these questions. The NIH says that this grant never supported experiments. It was only for sample collection. But as I said, some experts dispute this version. No official document will give gain of function written in bold. It's all about reading between the lines. And that tells us there is a lot more to this story. As for Senator Rand Paul, this is less about science, it seems, and more about politics. We're talking about a man who rejected masks. He asked Joe Biden to burn his mask on live television. Why? That's a bigger mystery than the Wuhan virus. Clearly, there is some exaggeration in what the senator said but he does hit some of the right notes. We cannot brush this off as partisan criticism. Why were Fauci and company funding this notorious laboratory in China? Why does the grant sound a lot like gain of function research? Why did America ban this research yet explore options abroad? Only an impartial independent probe will get the answers. But don't hold your breath because China may build a new great wall just to defend the Wuhan lab. Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.